Ah, what's up? So we have the PS4, which is the best gaming console out there somehow. And then we have the PS4 Neo. Uh, every time I think of that, I always think of I always think of the Matrix, right? The Matrix. Wasn't his name Neo? I believe. I believe that's what it was. Anyway, so. I hear that this console is supposed to be like a 4K console, and all of this stuff sounds pretty cool. Uh, like the, uh, oh my god, like the Xbox, the Xbox, Xbox One, the One Slim, um, I guess, and then Project Scorpio, and then I heard the Xbox or the One Slim was not worth it unless you had a 4K TV, um, but with this. This is going to have the option uh, for uh, for for regular uh, regular output display. Um, well, regular uh, for HD output display as far as, as 1080p goes. Um, so that in case you don't have a 4K display, you you know you can still use the console and stuff like that. So um, I was very very glad to hear that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is about the Xbox versus versus this, um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. They were talking about. I'm, I'm trying to find here. It's oh, oh my gosh. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay. One reason uh, is to support 4K Ultra HD resolution for gaming. While the PS4 can run a 4K video footage, it's not able to handle interactive games at the incredibly crisp solution. Supposedly, the Neo will be built to allow um, games to run at 4K. Now they're talking about, obviously, the PS4 was not built to run 4K games. Uh, but the PS4 Neo will be built to allow games to run at 4K. For people who have a 4K television, of course, um, that might be a small number, you know, as of right now, of course, but it's growing rapidly. So an upgrade to a PS4, you know, might help sell Sony's 4K sets. Um, oh, man. Okay, okay. See, can't remember where I read it, but they were just talking about that. You know, in case you don't have a 4K TV, it, it's you know you're gonna be able to still use the PlayStation 4 Neo on a 1080p TV. Um, and so here's what's inside: um, this eight Jaguar core, right, running at two 2.1 gigahertz a piece, a piece, right? Um, so I'm not sure like how much the, like what margin they have for updating the PlayStation 4 versus the PlayStation 4 Neo. I don't know if it's a, like, of as of enough margin to actually call it a new console, um, so early, or if it's like something like what Xbox is doing where they just have the Xbox Slim and... I think it's got basically a lot of the same components, except that, you know, the Xbox Slim can run 4K, and, you know, um, then, I mean, that's basically all it is. It's just a Xbox, uh, the 1.5, or whatever you want to call it. Or if it's if it's something like uh, the Neo is, is particularly... Um, basically the answer to Project Scorpio, which is another Xbox. Um, so, all of this is going to be pretty interesting to hear. I can't wait till they unveil the, everything. Um, today I was going to do a video on the Nintendo NX, but every piece of information that we know about that is already, like, they're just repeating the same articles over and over. Oh, it's going to have cartridges. So I decided I want to talk about the PlayStation 4. I'm a big PlayStation fan. I'm a big Sony fan. Uh, you, you know what? No, I'm not a Sony fan. I'm a big PlayStation fan. Um, 
And so because I'm a PlayStation fan, I, I am a Sony fan. It's not, you know, uh, vice versa. So I will... Oh, oh my gosh, here it is. Okay. Report says that while PlayStation 4.5 is what they're calling it for some reason. It's the, the Neo. Uh, will allow for... Okay, 4K gaming output. Sony won't require it to be natively supported. In other words, it's developer thing. Uh, okay. That's fine. The image will be upscaled for anyone with a 4K set. Anyway, so um, there you go. That's what it sounds like anyway. Uh, so I that sounds pretty exciting. I'm not exactly sure. I, I could have like had that wrong in my mind as far as uh, 4K TV versus a 1080p TV. I, I guess they wouldn't. I guess they'd still use HDMI support, so I guess it wouldn't matter. Huh. I'm an idiot. I'm an, I'm, I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, so I'm very, I'm very glad about, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to say, what I'm, uh, what's, what's going to go on with the PlayStation. Although, one thing I did think about is I remember when the PS3 first came out, the PS3 Fat, right? And I have that system, and that system is so beautiful so beautiful everything in there the first version of the fat because actually my friend has a fat version it's the, like the second version you know like i didn't even know they came out with that like his fat ps3 has like two usbs mine has four plus all the uh sd and xd and the uh, micro sd and and all that bullshit in there and uh with the memory, uh, the memory, memory cards, um, the Sony memory sticks, like has all those components in there, and it's oh my gosh, I really don't want them to pull anything like that. Like I heard that PS3 Fat, um, the first version, can like play PS2 games, play PS1 games, and everything else. But it's like the newer ones can only play either like PS1 and PS3, but they can't play PS2, like, because that works somehow. Like, I just, oh my gosh, I just don't even get that. Um, so, I don't know. I hope Sony doesn't pull anything like that, like, ever again. Um, I know with the Xbox now being backwards, I'm sorry, the One now being backwards compatible... It's a very, like, Xbox seems to have a better selling point, um, even though they, like, completely screwed up with the Xbox, the, or with the One the first time they were unveiling it. And uh, I think it's, I think it's going to be pretty interesting, and I really hope Sony, I, sorry, I really hope PlayStation really gets their sales up there. Um, I am a very big PlayStation fan, although I love Halo, which is a reason I'm going to buy the Xbox versus uh, versus something else. Um, and so, uh, uh, I really hope PlayStation wins when it comes to when it comes to sales, and I really hope they get this one right. Um, I know they got the PS4 right, and I know they beat sales the first time. And, you know, since the backwards compatibility was with the the one, now it's it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really interesting uh, for Sony to get back there. So, because um, hell, I I know I'm going to get you know the one again. Um, so I I've not bought one yet because I I mean I don't have that kind of money, right? Uh, I know I'm not going to. Uh, anyway, I, I know that's that's what I'm going to get. You know. Uh, so, I, I'm excited for this. I'm kind of, like, curious as to what's going to happen because, like I said, Sony's first version of everything was, like, always the best um, when it came to the PS3, and then they just, like, took things away and it was for them to make it smaller, and I really just hope that doesn't happen with this. So, hopefully, it'll be fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Deem worthy by hitting that like button. Express yourself in the comment section. And please support by subscribing. 
You guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.